I got laid off. I got fired. I got fired. But here's the thing. I was a binge guy. I remember seeing her at the local titty bar. I feel dirty right now just telling it into a microphone. We're broken around here. Working man, this sucks. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Working Class Souls Podcast. I'm your host, Ed McGowan, here with my co-host, Josh Accardo. Ed, uh, we are yeah. live on YouTube. Uh, oh, it's yeah. over hey. 200,000 right. subscribers. Hello. If you are seeing us at home, hi. If you're in your underwear, this is what technology does. This is our dog, Fido. We are all here to celebrate the Working Class Holes podcast and two amazing guests we have here in Houston, Texas. And I know it's awkward, but we're going to move right through it. I, I love, uh, some people were just here having drinks and they're like, oh, there's uh, a couple of class holes up here. What, what exactly is a class hole? The face of their disappointment <laughs> when we started talking. <laughs> because you know that feeling you walk into some, you're like thinking, it's like when karaoke happens. Oh, well, I think there was some excitement as people saw us setting up. And then, yeah, uh, like, well, and then when we sat down and started talking, I was like, oh, there's just <laughs> two guys talking into microphones. Okay. All right. uh, Houston, everybody, is, is a little hot. I know it's not hot for people that are from Houston, but uh, coming from New York City, there is definitely uh, some swampage happening. For those of you at home that don't know what swampage is, take a guess. In fact, my co-host, the one and only Eddie McGee, he said he had to trim his back door area to make sure the swampage wouldn't happen. That is a working class hole move, is it not, Eddie? <laughs> I guess you, that's working class Can you verify class with the three you, people listening to us? Th- do you think uh, like uh, wealthy people don't have to, uh, they have it shaved, someone, they have someone do that for them is what you're getting at? Well, I, I think at the end of the day, it's a real, it's a getting gritty solely to save yourself from perspiration is incredible. The fact that you said to yourself when you wake up in the morning that I'm going to be in some Houston, Texas heat and I'm going to fix it. And you took matters into your own hand in your one bedroom apartment with you and your wife. Well, I, I'll tell you, this is what really was the, uh, the kicker for it. The, the razor that I used was uh, just old. <laughs> it was an old, it was an only, old razor. It only a man would look at a razor rusty and say, that has one more go. Yeah, at least. That has one more at go least in it. I put it back. I didn't even throw it out. <laughs> so did you use a real razor or like a, a, like a clipper? Bic, like a Bic. You used a Bic on yourself? Yeah. That's prison stuff right there. Yeah. <laughs> I commend you. I don't, I don't know. What, what, do you, what, what do you do? Uh, this, is, this is a little uh, This is a little bit of a uh, uh, heavy start, I think, for some people here at Megaton Brewery. No, no, I no, want to no, talk no, about no. the sunburn that I got for 10 minutes, being outside for 10 minutes. When you're... You're an Irish Italian. <laughs> you have no business being in the Houston, Texas sun. It just as you were laying at the Ramada. <laughs> I was laying outside a fancy Ramada, ladies and gentlemen. It was a Ramada, and it looked the pool looked like the Karate Kid's pool. Like you remember when Karate Kid he lived in Reseda and his pool was half full and it had sticks and shit in it. That's what we swam in. Yeah, it was. And uh, it was beautiful. I was excited. Yeah. Best trip I've had in years. Did a couple cannonballs. It was a good time. All right. Uh, we got lucky because we walked in and someone was like, I, the, their face lit up to be our first guest. We said, we need a guest. And this person's face said, I'll do it. I'm a hero. And I myself had had so many bad day jobs that I would love to come up and speak speak to four patrons listening and others just here by hostage. I would love it. So I want everyone, if you're listening, if you're here listening, to give it up for not only the owner, but the goddamn brewmaster, the one, the only, Jarrett Montgomery, everybody. Give it up from Kingwood, Texas, baby. Get up here. Welcome to the show. Jared, Jared. Well, Jared. Work hey, how's it going? For doing well, let's get Take a seat, my friend. This is the way. Hey. All right, this is how we start every show. For those of you that never heard the show, you could get it all over uh, every podcast network, Spotify, all that. Jared, what is your worst day job? Uh, I've had many, but uh, I think to start out, um, I found out that I worked for an insane person. I uh, uh, he was a, a tool rep for a, a company Hold that will go tool on rep. Net. Tool yes, rep? I was his uh, helper boy. So when you say you well, found okay, out, how old were you at the time? I was I was 17 years old. Yeah, that's one of the bad jobs. That's the peak bad jobs right there. Yeah, okay. Eddie was washing dishes for a Chinese food restaurant at 12. I, uh, 12 years yeah, yeah. So, but uh, anyway, so <laughs> he I goes, yeah, I had, I had, uh, 
I had danger and excitement. Um, how did you find out he's insane? This is how. Uh, I received a, uh, a telephone call from him, and he was holed up in his apartment with the police outside the door. And Whoa. he called you? And he called me. <laughs> you were his one phone call? And this is what he told me. He said, I need you to go to my parents' house and dig up the guns. Ooh. Holy shit. Wow, that is shit. exciting. Oh, my God. And, I, I got and then my first answer was, no, no, sir. <laughs> you know, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. And so then, unlike Henry Hill and Goodfellas, you were not like Karen. No, I, I absolutely would not do that. And then he handed the phone to the police and, and was like, hey, speak to them. What? And then the guy, the police officer says, who are you? And, and so he was like, look, you got to tell this guy, you know, to come out of this apartment and then put the phone back in there. So I'm having this conversation back and forth between law enforcement and this nut person in his apartment who was insanely, uh, you know, on the drugs and drunk. So you never saw at 17 him act erratic? Very many times. Uh, I was uh, on a scaffolding inside his warehouse. And uh, he knocked down um, uh, an acetylene tank, which acted like a missile. Acetylene tank is like a, a welder's tank? Yeah. It, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. yeah. It almost killed me. It exited the building and re-entered the, the building. The whole tank? The whole Shot tank. Shot off? And so uh, he... Uh, Your parents were like, he, you better keep this job, Jerry. Yeah, he looked at <laughs> me like, and was, did you he get was overtime? like... Did you get overtime for that? Are you going to clean this shit up? That's uh, what he whoa! said to me. I'm like, yes, sir, I will. Uh huh. So you're his only friend. I don't know. So if you know, I was like Gargamel friend. and Smurf has a cat. You were like his. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> the fact that he okay, what's worth? So I'm yeah. calling you as like, so you're so and so's emergency contact, and they're in the hospital. You have to come pick them up. Yeah, is that worse than what he got? <laughs> No, his is worse, right? This is how antisocial I am. The thought of having to pick somebody up from the hospital <laughs> makes me sick to my they, stomach. They had to go. I mean, if you had to pick them up from the airport, that would tell be them where the guns are, boss. What year is it when you're 17? So uh, 90. So you're like literally living a 17 year old life. You're listening yes. to Nirvana. You're yes. Probably looking at. Not, magazines of sorts. You're living yes. a teenage boy's life, that, and a that cop is correct. calls you. Yeah. A we don't SWAT have to, cop. We don't have to talk about the teenage boy life on right now. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just no. saying, yeah. you're living, you your yeah. childhood was <laughs> yeah. robbed from you. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Like, uh, this, is, this is what's happening. And uh, they did. They went and found the guns and dug them up and threw so, them in the jail. So uh, I, that's yeah. what I wanted to know mo yeah. most about, the guns. So his concern was that the guns were uh, attached to crimes? No, no. He well. He what was, was his concern? Like in his drunken, paranoid state. What was? What was uh, his, his, why did he want the guns dug uh, up? Ex-military PTSD thing going on. He had guns that he buried in his uh, parents' flower bed and did not want them taken by law enforcement. And so he told me to go dig them up and hide them. Oh, it was just protect my guns. Yes, I, it was are, protect my guns. These are collectibles. Yeah, get, and oh, underground. Okay, okay, okay. In case, oh. in case the, the end of the world comes. Because so there was a couple different ways now that could have went. Yeah. I, yeah. Was like, dude, I, I was like, bring me my guns? No, no. <laughs> That's what I thought he was saying. Pick them up bring and me, load them in the guns. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but he's like, no, I need those. Those are my future. Preserve them. Dig yeah. up my retirement, Jared. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. Yes. That's my 401k. You know, I'm going to need you to make sure <laughs> they're loaded. His guns. <laughs> yeah. The cops are like, yeah, where are those guns? Uh, we could all use some new guns. Mm -hmm. well, that, yeah, that's, they probably didn't even know about the guns yeah. until he called in front yeah. of the cops. A and good like, Texan, oh. Texan love story. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, yeah. oh, hey, he's got guns. Check it out. Now, let so this did kid you show up to work Monday? And so, uh, no, that was, uh, that that was, was my last day. <laughs> in case you guys couldn't figure that out. <laughs> I can't believe that the guy called you. I don't know why. I think... Because it's not uh, an you know arrow of self. It's I'll not arrow that. cell phones either. That. He used to call that's the landline. A, that's a testament to what a good worker you yeah, are. Yeah, maybe that was the second. He called someone else maybe and they hung up. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Click. You know how hard it... People were around then to get a yeah. landline phone call. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, I mean, I it, it, is, it is a little bit of a roulette wheel oh, that he's yeah, spinning. Like, who's going to pick up... Who's going to get my guns? Put the window. Put the phone and talk and you know like I'm it's kind of scary yeah but funny 
It's oh, amazing. It's fantastic. <laughs> so what's he doing now? Yeah, where's he, he at he now? Keeping tabs is he on brewmastering with you? Yeah. No, <laughs> he's there right now? I think he's dead. Running security. <laughs> is he dead? Yeah. yeah. That, that checks dead. out. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. What, uh, why, why, why beer? Why beer? After that, did it was like, I got to figure out a way to make my own drinks after you had that traumatizing experience or what's when you're in what's King, your love for beer when you're in Kingwood you High School and you're in Kingwood High School and you needed uh, some some underage you know yeah. uh, malt liquor uh, you you came to me I was the person that um, I had the uh, the keg with the tap and uh, the fake ID and so Isn't I had it a, always when you're the guy with the yeah. tap Oh, the guy with the tap is well, always... You're the guy uh, with yeah, the yeah. tap. It's like yeah. being the guy at the strip club that has cocaine. Like, yeah, yeah, the yeah. guy with it's, the tap is a hero. It's, it is exactly like cocaine for like a 17-year-old. Oh, my, you yeah, see yeah. the guy with the tap? He's yeah, yeah, here. Okay. yeah. Joe, Jared's here. And you got the brew and yeah. the tap? So I, uh, I turned that into a, a career, guys. That's, uh, <laughs> that's incredible. That's what I, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's amazing. I wonder how many other tap guys from high school yeah. went into brewmasters. Yeah. It's yeah. like when I got my first laugh at an open mic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah totally. That or jail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I, m- most of my friends are The uh, best is jail. a tool yeah. rep. I could, I'm imagining 17-year-old Jared going, so this is a... This yeah. is a Phillips. <laughs> like, how do you rep a tool? Like, what do you... You bring the tools... To people's houses? I just lifted things and carried things and uh, built things and, and tried to uh, keep all of my fingers and toes. Yeah, it sounds like the guy was uh, paranoid, uh, yeah. pretty pretty paranoid. So you were probably building and tearing down like a lot of things I should for have, no reason. I should have ran. <laughs> right? he, he held all of his business meetings for the company in the uh, back part of a, a Mexican restaurant and then would serve you know, his minor employees enough margaritas to just lie on the floor. And so that was uh, that was the employee meeting. Employee morale margaritas. That's, yeah, hey, I mean, at 17, that's mm-hmm. better than money, right? I was yeah, like, I mean, this is it. I yeah, love Some yeah. people have Buffettville, and then you have this guy's weird air dungeon Tool of rep. tools. <laughs> so yeah. mm-hmm. this guy led you. It's called the butterfly effect for a reason. Mm-hmm. This man led you from... Scaring the absolute bejesus out of you. See, mm-hmm. I'm using uh, PG-13 words yeah, now on the show. Oh, wait, bejesus I... out of you, Jared, uh, to a point where you're like, hey, I got to invest more in being the tap guy. I got to invest more mm-hmm. in making this malt liquor and yeah. this beer. I was running from him, I think. I wasn't running towards, I was running away from him. <laughs> so you, how many jobs do you get to before this is the main job, though? And oh. how many jobs are you working while trying to make this the main job? I, uh, I uh, had many uh, different jobs, but since we're doing the kind of working class hole, I uh, was also a farmhand for a tobacco farmer in southern Georgia. Oh, wow. Okay. What? Yeah. Well, okay, cool. So, but, so you're from this area. I'm from here. I moved there. Moved to Georgia. I did. To Perfect. be... Uh, the fields of gold. I couldn't get a job, and so I needed a job. And uh, worked for about six months as a uh, a farm hand, as uh, uh, you know, just uh, sucker and tobacco. It was horrible. And uh, what I, do you do? It's that's hard. When work. you pick tobacco, what is the process? Like you, you do, it gets the machine. You, you get do. to wear gloves and stuff. You do, and yeah. you have to you have to like trim the small leaves back so the bigger leaves are you know uh, in full bloom or whatever they grow. And then uh, I witnessed many people. Uh, uh, maim themselves horribly on uh, equipment and uh, horrible reactions to chemicals. Oh. Uh, like literally seeing people uh, bleed to death. Oh, uh, Jesus. it was a horrible, Whoa. horrible <laughs> job. Was this in the 1850s? Like, what's going like on, it. dude? I mean, it really does sound like it. It was so horrible. <laughs> God, <laughs> Jim. Yes, yeah. And you know what the funny thing is? I try. I uh, I, I did this job. And there's this guy who's who's the farmer's son. His job to drive the truck around. Well, this rack of uh, tobacco leaves he he dumped off the back of a truck, and so his punishment basically to his son was, "You can't drive the truck anymore." And then I'm new. He gave me control of the truck. People trust you, Jared. And, and so they're like, "Jared, drive you. the truck." And so from that point on, it was, "How am I going to avoid the farmer's son from killing me?" Oh <laughs> yes, yeah, it's like oh, that. Wow. Yeah, yeah, it was not good. Then he, would, you know, and, he would look at me. What age are you at this point? And so like I 20? was, I was 21, 20, uh-huh. 21. Okay, all and right. you moved yeah. for this job. So this was supposed to be your big break. No, it was not. 
<laughs> and I didn't think it was. You were just trying to get out of Texas for and, a hot minute? And so the guy would look at me, you know, and he would go. And like Whoa. whisper, uh, like, I'm going to, you know, all yeah, of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, wow. You know, I was like, uh, it's time to go. Oh, Whoa. yeah. So yeah. how long was how long to last? Like six yeah, months? about six months. Yeah. And about, you know, four months into it is whenever the death threat started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I thought, you know, Solely because you got picked that's... to drive the truck? Yeah. Jared, yeah. I got to say, the I don't know that we've ever had uh, someone with death threats. This is fascinating. <laughs> yeah, lo- losing a jo- <laughs> quitting a job because of death threats. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's pretty exciting. See uh, people that's... maimed and bled to death <laughs> yeah. over tobacco. And, yeah, uh, yeah, and this is like a, dig a up the guns. Yeah. I mean, this is, this is fantastic. Yeah, I, I, it's like chemical more. reactions of the stuff they do to ripen the plants. And this woman had this reaction where her hands and arms swelled up because of this horrible chemical. And so what I'm saying, kids, is smoke a lot. Yeah. Smoke more cigarettes. <laughs> I mean, yeah. right? It was horrible. Yeah. Did they check you afterwards to make sure you weren't stealing so, any like, leaves? People would, like, disappear. and You know, they'd be injured and disappear and never come back. Like, we're so-and-so, you know. Don't ask any questions. Wow. So. Whoa. The tobacco Whoa. industry, is that, uh, that's yes. crazy. They, because, like, uh, I know guys, I knew the, I know this guy from Humboldt County in uh, California where they grow weed, and it's like, lo- it yeah. is like that a lot. But yeah, I, yeah. Would, I wouldn't think the tobacco would be the same thing. But, yeah, they kill people for, like, like you just get shot on these fields. I, just, you yeah. dis- I don't know. You disappear, and uh, I just thought, you know, I don't want to disappear. Yeah. I think I'm gonna. No, go I want to have a nice beer. Yes, I want to play some Mortal Kombat. You yeah. know, but give my lady a smooch. Yeah, can we? You know, uh, you know I love beer taps. I love that you left Texas and you're like, I'm just gonna go back and dig <laughs> up those you know, guns. I, got, I guess <laughs> I gotta get those guns. <laughs> my life's showing me yeah. one thing. I need yeah. those guns. Yeah. yeah, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> Was that myself from the future calling me saying, "Get those guns"? <laughs> you're gonna work at a tobacco farm where people are getting their heads lopped off? Oh my lord! Yeah. <laughs> So how many jobs do you have, though? Because this is what we ask a lot of comedians. We usually mm-hmm. have comedians on the show. And yeah. I always like asking comedians that now are like really successful and have been on TV, what jobs have you worked? And mm-hmm. have you ever had to go back to a day job after doing like a dream of yours? Right? So yeah. the only way I could think of correlating that to you mm-hmm. is the dream was always to build an environment where you can sell the product that you're making. Yeah, yes. That yeah. was the dream. Yeah. But how many jobs did you have to work and what was the last job you worked mm-hmm. before you officially were brewmaster yeah. Jerry Montgomery? So the last job, you know, about four or five jobs, but the last job that I worked at was really a fantastic job. Um, I was in IT. I was a, oh. sh- a SharePoint developer. Oh, wow. And so I, I worked for this uh, great company, uh, Insperity, and it was uh, the, the, the wonderful IT cush kind of job. But, uh, you know, deep inside of me is this uh, desire to, to do the beer. You know, it calls you. And so um, I got an opportunity to fire myself. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and that's How does that work? Yeah. What did you say to yourself when you fired yourself? And I was like, don't do it. Do it. <laughs> don't do it. Do it. You know, yeah. <laughs> this is tough for me to tell you, Jared. Yeah, yeah. What is? <laughs> yeah. We got to let you go. But why? <laughs> <laughs> so you basically were in a position where your, your job was ending, per you. Yeah. Let, let me ask you this: Were yeah. you good at the IT? Was that something you were good at? I was. Uh, I was excellent. And, oh. And it was also kind of slowly killing me inside. Oh yeah yeah yeah. So because of the of passion thing. Yeah, so yeah. is that like stand up where well, people like act if, like when they go to a well paying job it sucks because they're not doing stand up? Yeah. It's yeah. kind of the similar thing, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. I yeah. mean, I, would, I was I used to work in advertising. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Like uh, soul suck. Well, and if I don't, if I don't do this, I don't try to do this. I regret my life. Wow, love yeah, it, for love real. It. But what is what's the what's the touchstone with that though? Like I know for me, Eddie Murphy Raw uh-huh. starts this whole thing of comedy for me that I'm I'm discovering what stand up is. Mm-hmm. Sure. Mm-hmm. What is that for a brewmaster? Sure, um, I uh, had an opportunity as an adult to. Uh, return and go to school. I went to graduate school at the University of Houston. Awesome. And so uh, my uh, my studies for my Master of Science degree uh, involved like chemistry and finance and statistics and, and I got to build my, you know, kind of degree plan around doing this for a living for real. 
Wow. Wow. Jared, yeah. that's amazing to go from the killing fields of. Uh, <laughs> right. To go of, from the murder <laughs> fields <laughs> of Georgia <laughs> <laughs> to, to now. To now. Master yeah. of science. Uh, this is amazing. There's a lot of chemistry. Not to, not to bore the audience, but beer is a lot yes, of a lot. getting the right yeah. chemicals involved. Is that true? Chemistry? Yeah. You, you use uh, chemistry? You have, to, you have to really learn how to not poison people. Oh. Make them sick. And so, yeah. Interesting. It takes that's, the first, yeah. that's the first and foremost, Ed. You don't want to kill your clientele. Yeah. I, second. Yeah. I used to have a. I used to know a guy in South Philly. Oh, sorry. I no, no, no. But so <laughs> <was it> second. <laughs> no, I was gonna leave it uh, alone. <laughs> <laughs> I used to know this guy in South Philly. No, because South Philly. We he used to brew beer and just on the poisoning part. Yeah. We we, we would get yeah. sick all the time. Oh yeah. He would, show, know he, up. <laughs> he would show up and it was like we were not even getting drunk off it. We're just like, dude, we I just don't pump this guy. I brought you not feel well. This is yeah. not. What is this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. That's a. Yeah, Called an infection. <laughs> yeah, is that yeah. what? It, yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh man, it was uh, not good. I mean, sometimes it was good. Sometimes it was sometimes fun. It's a hit or miss kind of but thing. But we were, you know, okay, drug addicts too. So it was like, is Anything. it Anything is it the beer good. or you know, yeah, you know, am I just losing my mind right now? Yeah, now, maybe. biggest job, smallest, whatever setup. Like, because I know you probably don't have. Now your setups here are massive. Yeah. How big are those? those tubs could yeah. i swim in one of those tubs you could but and i would no. die yes you would okay <laughs> thanks for letting me I just wanted to confirm that part what is the gallonage on that uh, it's is that the proper terminology gallonage <laughs> thousand <laughs> gallonage yeah. thousand gallons yeah thousand gallons so yeah. what's the biggest job you ever had with the smallest equipment um the bit with the smallest equipment you know like uh, you yeah. had to make a bunch of shit but i you, did yeah i had to uh right recently i just had this experience where I had a, uh, a canning delivery, a bunch of cases, like 30 cases of beer that I delivered to this golf tournament. And my manual canning system failed. It crapped out of me. And so I had an employee, uh, you know, bless her heart, who found a cheap little $180 homebrew can seamer. Uh -huh. So, you know, put the lid on the can right there. You see, guys? Right? Yeah. And so Look at that Red Bull we, we, uh, we can like 30 cases. We beat the shit out of that machine to make that order and it's literally a desktop little you know easy bake oven to yeah, make a beer yeah, order yeah, yeah, that's awesome yeah it's literally <laughs> nice. do you still have you it do, it was, save it it was horrible yeah it's in the back we can yes. go laugh at it later nice. that's like that first dollar that you that you get yeah, 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 you did what with this <laughs> yeah Jared plug where you're at plug what's going on I love yeah. Megaton Brewery. So much fun. Uh, Thank you. The place is awesome. If you are ever in the Houston area, you have to come by and yes. check what you and Chris and all your partners have built. So incredible. Yes. But tell everyone where they can find you, what's sure. going on next week here, or whatever. Yeah, a absolutely. Uh, one uh, great plug to my business partner. Uh, yeah, we have um, all of these uh, great helmets and stuff around our sci-fi collection oh, yeah cool uh, we just had may the fourth here so we had all the star wars nerds and the whole thing right yeah and so uh uh my business partner chris uh collects all of these things he goes to disney where they remove the money oh so wait so those are those are really from disney that boba fett yeah holy yeah that boba fett is bad that's yeah, awesome. yeah, so cool they, they absolutely but uh anyway uh, you can see it on our instagram by the way we're yeah. going to show you it so check the working class holes instagram go ahead sorry yeah, Jared, yeah, yeah. but uh you know we have a, a great musician next weekend casey bowen who's going to play here uh we're off of north park in kingwood texas you know, please come and visit us, and man, we appreciate it. Hell yeah! From awesome, the class will send yeah. you, baby. Dude, this is great. Jared, yeah. thanks Amazing, for thanks on, for dude. sharing, man. Don't You're awesome. Man. Take Very your good. beers. Give it up for Jared, everybody. Jared everybody Montgomery. Jared Montgomery. <laughs> what a first guest. He's got to go dig up some guns. Yeah, he's gonna go figure <laughs> it out. Uh, I mean, how wild is that? I you legit see someone get mangled. You're 21, and you're like, you know. Beer for me. <laughs> it's beer o'clock. Let's to get out of here. To, uh, yeah, that's that's a scare. That's like one of those like when they take kids to like jail. They, oh, they scared go, straight. Like, scared straight. He's like yeah. the nicest guy though. <laughs> yeah. Like, he's, like those jobs are like the jobs of somebody that was not on the right path. Like you, I would expect to have those yeah, jobs. Right, yeah, not yeah, a master yeah, of science. No. Yeah. 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 I think the I, honestly working with somebody like a paranoid. I go back to that first job. That is a life changing oh, yeah. moment for sure. Because, Getting any phone call where a cop well, is like, talk to this. Because here's nut the thing: job. like looking up to, when you're 17 and somebody, an adult is getting you drunk, 
that is, you're like, th- I want to be like this guy. Yeah. And it's so easy to just, just follow this dirtbag path, and he which didn't. I have done. You have done it. That's what I mean. He did not. But the, the call from the cops to take up the good to- <laughs> Change the trajectory. It <laughs> pushed it over the edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's fantastic. We're, gonna, we're in a lot of luck because, you know, I didn't plan this. This was serendipitous. I walked in, and uh, Chris, we mentioned him. He's one of the partners here at Megaton Brewery. Uh, Chris has a great wife who's a teacher, and it is Teacher Appreciation Week as oh. we're here oh. in Houston. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah all right. Uh, and just so happens, I didn't know she was going to be here tonight. And she was sitting at the bar, and Chris is like, you got to have her on. And it, was just, it just happened. So not only is she a second grade teacher here in Houston, but she is the current teacher of the year. Will you please oh. give it up for Miss Vicky, everybody? Miss Vicky. Miss Vicky. Get on up here, Miss Vicky. Watch your step. You yep. got it? Yep, barely. Thank you for coming teacher. on. Teacher of the year. It's great. That I mean, is a title. It is. Did you get a, a, a like a plaque or a trophy or? A well, at first I just got flowers, and my dad was like, "Is that it?" Yeah, right. I'll get you a trophy. Oh, did he get you a trophy? He was going to, but then I actually got a real one. It was actual glass. Really? So they were pressured into getting the trophy, or no, it was just no. being it was made? a later. Sounds it was like, like a, your dad. It was like a later. <laughs> yeah, right. He called. He called. He was like, "My daughter's awesome. I need you to do this, please." She's. This is all she has. He dropped it off. He was yeah. like, "Here, this is what you." It's get engraved. It to her. Yeah. yeah. So I have a I have a two year old now, and even his daycare teachers are like, "It's Teacher Appreciation Week, and I want to give them something." Right. But like, what alcohol. Do you, it's but uh, is that appropriate? Yes. Like, what do you? What's your best gift so far? And they, all the years, how long have you been a teacher? Twelve yeah, years. Yeah, stay close to the mic. Yeah, tw- Twelve years. <laughs> Twelve years. And I'm, they've been doing this now 20 years, right? Teacher Appreciation Week? I guess. Uh, whatever. It's I been a long yeah, time. Yeah, a long time. You hear about it. Yeah. <laughs> what is the best gift in 12 years a parent's ever given to you? A Specs gift card. Yeah. Specs? Yeah. What's, What's Specs? Specs? It's, an, it's a... <laughs> Little shout out to Specs. No. Is that, uh, 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 I'm sponsored <laughs> by Specs. No. <laughs> what, yeah, what's Specs? It's a it's a liquor store. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Sponsor, I was like, I know. Well, wait, can uh, I, can in I New York, you? are you guys? You have like state liquor stores. Pennsylvania. Pen- does. I know. That's yeah. where I'm from. Oh, yes, where are you from? Yeah, I'm from Philly. Are you from Philly? Yeah, oh, yeah, I know yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, right on. We oh. haven't told Ed that, but oh, he's, yeah. he's so forgetful. It's fine. Yeah, you know, it's also, he's done a lot of drugs. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, warped. I'm a space yeah. He never had yeah, a Miss yeah. Vicky as a no, teacher. No, he didn't. He got he lost went, in the system. It's sad. Really yeah, well, I would have caught you. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so what is the proper amount? $200? Oh, well, two, I'd be like, generous? your kid gets an A. Really? Forever. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. I can't actually do uh, that. Okay. Um, we can edit that out. Yeah, we'll, don't <laughs> yeah. take that out. Miss Vicky, yeah. she, yeah. she, she runs legit. a tight ship. Don't right? let anybody come out after her award, the Teacher of the Year here. She's legit. It's already happened. I got it. So it's on a shelf. You can't take it. So. All right. We won't edit it out. Though. Um. So 50 bucks is, is good. Yeah. As long okay. as I can buy something. Like okay. I could buy 50 a bucks. wine or alcohol. Well, so let me ask you this, though. Sign. So you wouldn't prefer just cash? I mean, I think that's like a little risque. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's like a little like, like, a little like so you pay me. Interesting. Yeah, See, yeah. I am Sicilian, and my dad would give everyone cash. Yeah, right. Even when he didn't have any money, he would still just give <laughs> people <laughs> all the cash. Under I, the table. Or, you need lunch money? He would just give a lady at the. He's like, here's a hundred dollars. Like, hun. I got it's no a, lunch. It's a bad check. He's just give <laughs> passing a bad check. So. That's protocol. You cannot get no, well, yeah, no cash money. Cash is like weird. Like, cash is weird. You have weird, to like yeah. when in the beginning of the year you there have to, to like be card you involved. have to like be like, how are you related to? Have you been paid for any services? Yeah, uh, it's like yeah, I'm like yeah. no, never, no. Wow. Yeah. But booze. Booze. Nice. I've been had that. Well, they've given me booze like, and they're like, don't open the bag, here. And oh, I'm like, they, oh, that's like, the game. Yeah, yeah. But I'm like, that's actually illegal. Yeah, I yeah, can't you're actually. In the classroom. Now I have wine in the classroom. Yeah, oh, right, like right. multiple times. So it's yeah. the gift card. I'm gift like, card, oh my god, I'm gonna be that lady that's on TikTok that lost her job. Like, that's just my juice. No. <laughs> There's a lady who lost her job. Oh my god, yes. Yeah, you haven't seen what? it? No. What is it? Oh my god, she's it's, drunk it's in the classroom. Horrible. Yes. And I Holy said, this shit. is what they drive us to. You see, so as I cried for her, I was like, this is the saddest thing I've ever seen. What year do you think she was in her teaching? <laughs> oh, she was like middle aged, so probably. Like 20, 20. yeah. She was like, <laughs> she'd probably been there. She'd probably been into that for like five. Teacher of the year, she Miss was like, Vicky. 
previous Teacher of the Year. 2024 <laughs> Teacher of the Year, Miss Vicky Ooh. caught running around slapping people in the face outside her caught, classroom. Caught, caught, caught drinking juice. <laughs> she says it's like, just oh, Specs it's gift just cards. just juice and Specs gift cards. Yeah. So... Don't drink on the job is no, one thing you yeah. can't do. That's, it can't do that. Children. Yeah, it's frowned right. upon. Can't drink on the job. No. Now I think about this stuff about what Mike, like what I would be comfortable with. Well, honestly, there was a point where I worked at a school the that they right? couldn't. I had to have a clear cup. Oh, Whoa. oh yeah, I worked. I've worked in some some places. <laughs> really? Yeah, and you had to have a clear cup. I was like, this means someone else has oh, yeah. messed this up for There's everyone. There's been an issue. There's been an yeah. in- incident. Yeah. How many different districts have you worked in the 12 years? Because uh, they see. start. Do they start teachers here the same way in other places where like, you're a new teacher so you go to the harder places? Right. Okay. Yeah, no, I was like, you have to or you are just, That's you're like not the, hardened. No, they just they won't wanna, hire you because everyone is terrible. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, when I moved here, I was like, oh, work in a private school, make zero dollars. Um, so probably a what four? I worked in four districts. One, yeah, four. Four districts. Four districts. This is the longest I've stayed in a district. So I'm like winning. Yeah. So I'm not saying you drink. No, I do. Uh, I'm like, do I? Yes. That uh, this do. is my juice, actually. But therapist, <laughs> therapist, <laughs> teachers, and registered nurses. In my life. That's why we have weeks dedicated they, to us. Yeah. They They're not like drink here's so bankers much. week. No, right. they're not. They're not saying that. They're not like no. a guy who. I don't know. Races cars week. No. You know, no. There's none of that. There's no one. Doctors week. We're like, fuck you. You make this guy money. Races the, it's called Indy 500. Right. They're like, here's money for racing. It's a very no. popular race. I'm like, here's me racing to work, not making any money. Sad. No. That's a, See, this is why Every we do day. this show. Because at the end of the day, it's. You could make a hundred thousand yeah. dollars or more doing a working Showing class a job or something. But yeah. what I'm saying though is <laughs> the point: a job is working class if you sweat. Yes. Like if, like you say, like you have to do like do some work. grunt. It's a yeah. hard job. It's a yeah. hard job. I'm aging like a president. I'm actually like 22. <laughs> 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 I wake up. I'm like, damn, I look great. That's great. What's the most stressful part of the job? All the paperwork. Paperwork? Is it yeah. because like the bureaucracy? Is that the grading? You no, mean? it's like all the kids that have needs, and it's you have to fill out all these, uh, all the things like you data. Have to, like, you have to do and so. Can I ask you a question? Do you, uh, they're all in one class. They don't like come in no, and out. I'm, so yeah, here until second grade, they're self-contained. So which I didn't know was so, it. Which in Pennsylvania, it's till fifth grade. It's like you don't switch classes or anything. I, I don't know. Switch classes till high school. I was in high, yeah, till uh, middle school. I switch classes, but here it's third grade. They start. They have like two teachers. They where start they switch. switching yeah. classes. And I was like, what the hell is this shit? So now I'm like, yes, self-contained. That's what I am. I don't. That's now I'm like weird. So you just stay in the same classroom. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. All now, day long. Yeah, with all the twenty. Yeah. Now when does uh, when do they start becoming like when can you start spotting trouble kids? Oh, I taught kindergarten for ten years, so kindergarten. Oh really? wow! Yeah. Oh yeah. What's yeah. the hardest conversation I'm you like, ever you, had? I'm like you. I will see on TV in ten years. <laughs> Timmy, <laughs> I'm like, how have you made it this far? Timmy, stop Might eating. be doing a podcast yeah, at the brewery. Oh, I, mm, yeah. <laughs> What's the craziest thing you've ever seen a kid eat? <laughs> um... A metal part of a pencil. Oh, yeah. my God. And I was like, something's going to happen to you. I Something. I don't know what, but you should not do that. And that's that. how you got Teacher of the Year. It you is. You explain, it is. but you don't scare them. Right. I was like, yeah, you might... Keep it vague. You might die. Mm, mm. <laughs> you might have that like, rip through your intestines, that. Johnny. It's like that and the shoelaces. I don't ever touch shoelaces anymore. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no. No, no. no. And then they gnaw through. on them, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> that yeah, just yeah. was in your piss. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then it was in your mouth after. The thing that goes through your head... Oh, God. Because it is true. Oh, the oh yeah. Shoes. I'm like, uh, I'm like this. No, that's wet. No. I'm potty training my son. There's like three kids in second grade that know how to tie shoes. I'm like, what has happened? Watch a YouTube video. I'm not tying them. Absolutely not. But kids are so dumb. When I was in third grade, all, my whole class, they You're got they got these little globes. Oh, I, no. All the Boy Scouts. I wasn't in Cub, uh, Cub Scouts. I wasn't in Cub Scouts. But all the Cub Scouts got these little globes, and every single kid got it stuck on their thumb. Like so much so that like uh-huh. like the janitor had, to, had come to come in yeah. and like cut them off their thumbs. Yep. A couple of kids had to go to the hospital for it. Jesus. Just how many morons. times I say, "What are you doing?" Yeah. Stop that. But so it, how d- but it catches like fire, right? Like <laughs> and then when, they're like, and yeah, they're yeah. all doing it. And I'm yeah, like, yeah. and then the one kid's like this. No. 
And I'm like, oh, you're my favorite. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So how do you become Teacher of the Year? Do they vote? <laughs> well, I'm very popular. So. Well, yeah, I mean, great personality, <laughs> no doubt about that. You're gregarious. Yeah. You're out here selling it. It's <laughs> that Philadelphia yeah, personality. It is. Philadelphia it is. Charm it is. I'm like, Texas. ah, I got, I got some water. I'm selling. <laughs> yeah, water. <laughs> no, you want me to switch? Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, it just, it just warmed my I heart know. right I there. I bet it yeah. did. I bet it did. Talk Everyone here is like, what the shit do you say? I'm like, no, no, no. Don't worry. So do they observe you? Can you just take a Philly break for a minute, right? Trying to do a fucking interview here. It's you got to talk about war and blah blah. Oh my god! Don't even just time out. You could do this after the show. Yeah, I gotta yeah, fill yeah. more time. When you get teacher of the year, do they observe you throughout the whole year? Is it the superintendent? Well, no. How do you so get it? the uh, my peers, all the peers vote. So other teachers voted for me. So like the all star. So game. like the, oh, the yeah. principals and are not allowed to vote. I'm like, well, obviously I'd win because yeah. Yeah. You're very confident. Um, yeah. <laughs> No, I literally was like, what? No, my teammate texted me when the ballot came out. I was like, you're on the ballot. Now you call the other teachers, your teammates? Yeah. And then wow. I call the students friends. We're all friends. You back clean up oh. for the second yeah. grade, Miss Vicky? I'm like, yeah. On the I roster. I like that, though. Yeah. Teammate and friends? Yeah, friends yeah. and teammates. We're all, all just teacher, one here. I had a teacher in high school who called us derelicts. <laughs> well, that's why they didn't you're get teacher of the year. You're all derelicts. <laughs> And that's that's what that northern. Is, so uh, yeah. <laughs> why Texas and why teaching? If you're from Philly. Well, my husband is from here, so I moved here. Yeah, yeah but I mean, you didn't. You met him at some oh, point. Oh yeah, I've sure. never been to Houston before I moved here, and I was like, ah. Was yeah. it always teaching though? Even when you were a kid, yeah. you knew. Yeah, I. So in like seventh grade, I probably knew. I like was in youth group, and then I helped out with like Sunday school and vacation. So you're involved Bible in school your local church. Babysat and nannied for like forever. And you're always yeah. around and helpful with children. Yeah. You really enjoy it. Do you think it affects people having their own children when they become teachers because of the burden of? Oh, being I'm sure. I look at my friends. I'm like, how are you keeping another human alive? Yeah, because that's what I'm I can about. barely keep myself alive. Yeah. I go home and I'm like, oh no. I'm like, hello, couch and dog. Well, you're around 30 kids every yeah. single day. Yeah. No, it's it's a, a I couldn't lot. Do it. I couldn't a lot. Do it. I don't know how they do it. I have a teammate that is pregnant right now, and I'm like, she wants to die. She's Pretty like, much. she's like, okay, well, just go sit over there now. Go. I'm like, chip, chip, go over there. No, go sit down. No, we're done. My, uh, I was just in LA uh, visiting my sister, and uh, she has two kids, and this is the closest I am to ch- having children. And as an uncle, step aside, yeah. I come in like rock star. But you know, after about seven days, I'm like, oh, I'm not even a rock star aunt. <laughs> no. no, I'm like, I'm like, oh no, no, this is my break. No, no, please leave. No, please go over there. You're not going home. Please go home. He needs her wine. Please go home. And her children break. I'm like, no, no, you, Aunt Vicky's here for like. I'm going to play soccer with you, and then you're going to go home. You can't stay here. Go in Aunt Vicky's purse and go, get her specs card. Go get my very specs card. with go. the children. <laughs> Please go. Everyone is like, they love me here. Right. Go no. love me. Go and I'm like, it's too much. Face. Yeah. I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> what else would you have done if it wasn't teaching, though? That's uh, what I want to know. Would well, you have been a brewmaster? Would you no, have picked I've, tobacco I, like, leaves? Par- yeah, I would have been picking cotton. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, party planner. Uh, like yeah, an event yeah, like an event yeah. coordinator, uh-huh. or like well, just saving dogs. Like, yeah. but that makes no money either. So that's no. like uh, right. equal to teacher. It's like saving what kind dogs. Of party? <laughs> 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 uh, uh, I'm planning the all the parties. <laughs> I'm a hat. You're like. Hey. I was so excited today because they came by with like a freaking cart, like for our teacher appreciation, and I was like, I get a prize, yes. And so like the prizes were all there, and they're like, that's a drink gift card, and I was like, how much is it? How much was it? It's like 10? No? Okay, no. And so then I picked like, <laughs> it was these like Chris, jams and jelly. I'm not luck, even kidding. Bro. It was jams and jellies for like a charcuterie board. And I was like, I'm having a party. Yeah. Yep. This is end of year right here. Oh, I can, And all my friends, I was like, look, we're having a party. My friend got like the drink to go, uh, like shaker and stirring things and like a barge kit to go. And I was like, we're having a party Swear. in the classroom right now. So the, you had the charcuterie board in the yeah, classroom? I, I have. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I do now. I, I just got excited. I'm a big that. I love board. a good, yes. Oh, it's yeah. so the good. Board. The little pickles with the uh, the meats <laughs> and the cheeses. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, we're really off mustard. task now. Yeah. This is like school. I'm like this. What? You have a dog? Great. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. We're not even talking about pickles. So this is how a podcast this always is, goes. This is literally how school <laughs> is. He is school. This is it. He's so the a reason kid. Why, hold on. The reason why you would be a party planner is because you... Look at charcuterie boards and think to yourself, "Look, I can." No, make I look this at Pinterest. I'm like, I can make that better. No. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
And I throw all the parties here too. I mean, it's well, nice. I, all the friends. So you we're do gonna it all. Talk. Uh, yeah, I've, I've coordinated like three weddings. We're it's gonna great. talk charcuterie. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, should. Yeah. And Wawa, obviously. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and the um, similarities and Wawa. Uh, because like, there is certain Wawas. You, yeah, because no, I, I know. I've been to Florida Wawas. They're not the same. Yeah, Wawas have taken a little dip. They've gotten a little too corporate. Honestly, I'm, I have I have opinions. We'll share it off air. I'll leave you guys to yeah, call just, the mayor of Philly, Ben yeah, Franklin, yeah. whatever it is, <laughs> it's to me. talk them over about yeah, that shit. That's fine. Um, before I let you go, I wanted I do want to say thank you for all you do for children and also for your community. It's a really hard job. It is. Anyone listening to the show right now, anyone watching on our live feed, if they want to be a teacher, what's the best advice you could give them? That's not like not like sarcastic soft. advice. Oh, okay. Not soft. Oh, okay. Like, <laughs> like, what's a bad day? What's a uh, really bad like day? Like a bad day is like, I'm like here's your tooth back that was in my arm. Like you better have you? a quick reflex to catch a chair midair but i'm a five-year-old wow they try to throw chairs at you oh, and yeah. bite you and shit uh-huh yeah wow. and then they tell you like this they say push into it whoa so they unbite like a pit bull mm-hmm. yeah whoa. like a pit bull yeah so if a kid bites you and you have to push into it so they <laughs> let go because you're not trained there's only certain people trained we're not to touch kids to, yeah so like if they're doing that and the kid person that's the uh you know whatever so you have someone in class in case someone goes nuts that well, can't handle the no kid. in the school one person oh. in the school. Well, and if the kid's rough enough, they have a person I got in a fight in class. I was in them. high school, and they had to bring security in for that. Oh, really? It took forever. See, I think that's how I knew I was going to be a teacher. How long did the fight go on? I ended up it in fights three, all the time by It accident. felt like a three minutes at least. It took a long... Were you winning? People were... We threw <laughs> desks at each other. That means no. Oh, wow. it was, he was not winning. No, 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 no. I, I, I was trying to figure out if I got hit with the desk. <laughs> Oh, oh no! But they, I got hit with a desk. desk. Like, yeah, even if desk. you're winning and you yeah, get hit with a desk, that's, that's going to take you down. Really yeah. Unless yeah. you're a teacher, I, and then it doesn't. But have you been hit with a desk? No, because they're like tables usually. Well, uh, no, and I'm smart enough. You zip tie so that shit together. Oh. And, yeah, you got to oh. zip tie it together so they can't take it apart. And then you'll. <laughs> that's this is so Philly, right? Now you got to go around zip tie. You got to zip tie it together, and then and then you cut the zip, and then they crawl under and they're like cut themselves. I'm like, oh oh. I'm so sorry that happened. I Should've been under the desk. Teacher to Europe. Should have been under the desk. I don't do that now. It's fine. And I'm in a much better place. <laughs> All right. So what's your advice um, to these teachers? You know, just know that it's not like how you were in school. What does it's that mean? It's not the same. It's so not how you were in school. It's not. You're not going to have 20 of what you experienced in your education ah that's smart because it even from when i started 12 15 years ago what was your education did you have like a specific child development education you're referring to or just in general no no like child literally education? growing up in school ah like in my own, own class like you yeah. were like i had that one naughty kid his name is billy like you remember him so now yeah, it's yeah. he's like he different. threw that desk a one time oh, and then you never saw billy again right yeah, like yeah. he was gone he was forever it's not like that it's anymore. not no and then it's like 12 billies you know yeah wow. right yeah so it's so you have to know it's changing all the time, and is it's it not going to be the same. Is it doing it? Is it? It's, is it's it that, and it's like Just soft like, parenting. You know? uh, soft parenting, yeah. and also like I mean, you used to be able to like right before I went to school, you used to be able to hit kids. Like well, the, yeah, the, no, yeah, and yeah. now it's like <laughs> I'm no, like well, they need to bring that back. What I'm saying no. is, but what I'm saying like is, corporal like, punishment. Changed. He's like back in my day in my when day. I was at Catholic school, they used to beat the shit out of me. No, they did. They had an I know. Old I know. Trash on me. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're they're like they're the ones throwing the chairs. They're like, what's that, Johnny? <laughs> Say it again. I'm fascinated that technology <laughs> and all these like newfound ways of well, parenting you have to like look over here it's, it's like your lot of constant attention, attention. Yeah. right they're yeah. doing a lot for attention yeah and i Crazy. bet the phones too i bet the kids have phones and oh, watches and all that oh, no, I'm, like, I'm like <laughs> they do and i'm catching it in here <laughs> they're like that's terrifying i'm like catch it yeah uh all right plug what's going on with you what do you got next do you are you trying to do a repeat of uh, teacher of the year can you win it twice i know Ooh. no you cannot win it. i know i was like i'm winning it again obviously no, I, you can't win it again twice in a row. Would but. you go on a circuit? Would you go school to school? Right, like I'm like I'm just up? I'm just jumping school to school. Like, like I'm gonna win James. teacher. Watch me now. Yeah, yeah, like exactly. watch, like LeBron. And, like, mic drop shit. Like <laughs> watch. Kidding. I just come in. I'm like brand new. They're like, who is this girl? Teacher of the year. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I just actually we like plug it now. I just go places and my friends are like, oh, she's teacher of the year. <laughs> and I'm like I'm like ever. I get a drink every now and then. I'm like thanks guy. Thank That's you. Awesome. Thank you. I'm teacher of the year. Didn't know I'm if you knew. Miss yeah. Vicky, do you have anything you want to plug to our audience before we let you go? 
just be kind to your teachers because they're trying their best. Amen. Uh, Give it up. Uh, Give it up everybody, for those teacher, you, everybody. teacher of the year. Woo. Thank you, Miss Vicky. Yes. You were amazing. Everyone here at Megaton Brewery was amazing. I feel like for a first live recording, as interesting as it was to start, it turned out to be quite fun. This was fun. This was fun. Uh, I want to thank everybody here at Megaton for being on. Jared, Miss Vicky, the whole crew. Eddie, what do you got to finish up on? Go ahead. Say something hey, sweet. I can't wait for everybody to come out tomorrow to see us do some stand-up comedy. It's going to be fantastic. We'll see you guys again tomorrow. Thanks, Stay. everybody. Take it easy. You can listen to us on all major podcast platforms every Wednesday. You can follow us on Instagram at Working Class Holds. Also, make sure you watch the full show on YouTube. All you got to do is type in Working Class Holes. And please don't forget to rate us five stars and tell a friend. Come on.